Hey there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek, and this is the obligatory year-end goals video. As in, how did I do with my 2018 goals, and what am I setting for 2019 goals? Mainly around reading and writing, but also around YouTube and maybe some other things. Reading. The goals I set for 2018 were to read 25 books and about half of those to be audiobooks. As far as total number of books, I blew that out of the water at 39. 27 of those were audiobooks. So I did manage about a dozen print or ebooks, as in, I couldn't be doing anything else. I had to just sit and read. Whereas when I listen to audiobooks, it tends to be on my commute. So it, I'm a little more of a passive um, reader in that scenario, which is why I sort of make that distinction. For 2019, then, I think my stretch goal is going to be, let's just move it a little higher and go for 40 books. Still not ready to jump on the 50 books a year bandwagon because this is books in addition to all the reading I do for work, which includes a metric ton of peer-reviewed journal articles and several metric tons of homework. Um, I also don't count any transformative fiction that I read because I wouldn't really know how to count that. Some things are novel length, most things are not. So, so this is above and beyond all of that other reading because I do also have goals around reading more indie authors um, and specifically more author two authors, which I did manage to read one author two authors audiobook this year um, and couple of indie books and I got a couple of indie books for Christmas so that'll get me off to a good start. Writing goals. The writing goals I set for 2018. I'm going to have to read out of my bullet journal. So I had professional writing goals to be at one one and one meeting one item in progress, one item in review, and one item in press by the end of the year. No. No, that did not happen. Um, I have multiple things in progress. I've managed to present various things. Now I need to actually get to the peer-reviewed publication part because somehow presentation has become my comfort zone. And whether or not that's my comfort zone, universities like to see actual publications in addition to presentations, so I need to get on that. So that'll be my 2019 goal, is let's try to get to that one, one, and one by next December. Um, personal writing was to edit my 2017 NaNoWriMo and get that posted, which I did. Um, do at least one camp, which I did both, and then do Nano, which I did. And I hit my goals on all of those. Well, other than writing the end on my NaNoWriMo. Um, I also had set a goal to work some more on my settings bank. So the idea for a settings bank I got from a craft, writing craft book, which I will link below. Um, writing Vivid Settings, I want to say that was by Rain Hall, but I could be mistaken. And I decided to apply some, you know, bit just basic bullet journaling index approach to keep track of the types of settings I decided to write. That is a very short list still. To be fair, looks like they are all, or almost all, 
Yeah, okay, the first one was from December of 2017, but the rest have been 2018, which is something. But 22 pages worth of setting writing. I need, I need to do more than that. Setting is my weak point and description in general. So I need to do more of this. Whether I end up using these actual descriptions or just the practice of writing them helps me do what I need to do. So that's a 2019 goal is more of that. Write more poetry. I did. I actually wrote a good handful of poems. Did I keep track of them? No. It was less than 12. I signed up for some monthly um, Vanish poetry writing challenges and all the ones I signed up for I did complete. So yay. Uh, were any of them super great? Not necessarily. Um, but it got me back in the habit of writing poetry a little more. So I want to continue writing more of more poetry and I think I'm going to continue to leave that goal vague at just more. Yeah. So that's 2018 writing and a bit of 2019 writing goals. But as far as what I want to get written fiction wise, I want to draft the next two books of this trilogy that took over my brain. Um, I won't necessarily edit those and flesh them out, but I want them at least drafted because past experience tells me if I have something that's a work in progress, I will get to some later point and decide I needed to set something up earlier. I don't want to put myself in that position. I want to at least know where everything is going so that when I then go back and edit book one, I can fix things that need fixing before ever getting any further with it. Um, to that end, I also need to finish book one. I mean, I, I did hit the word count for NaNoWriMo, but I did not finish the draft. And I did put it aside to write in December to write just fluffy advent travel stuff. Um, get to that in a second. I need to pick that back up in January and at least find the ending and then do a preliminary just read through. Probably not going to do a whole lot in the way of editing of it yet because then it is going to take me both February and March to prepare for April's camp. Partly because I'm going to be so intense and flat out at work I will not have a whole lot of time to spend on writing even on the weekends. So. I'm going to have to parcel it out and my prep for April is going to have to take pretty much February and March. So that'll be sitting in the back burner, but I will at least know how it ends so that I can move into book two. Draft book two during April's camp. That probably means doing a 50,000 word goal for April's camp. Thank goodness you can edit your goals as the month goes on because that is probably not reasonable for the end of the spring semester. We'll see. Uh, by the same token, then for July's camp, I want to draft the final book of the trilogy. Definite 50,000 word goal there and hopefully get that one all the way to the end because in July, Depending on what sort of admissions related things I need to do, that's new stuff that may be getting added this year to my uh, workload. Depending on that, I may have a little more time in July, but we'll see. So then by the end of July, I should have all three books drafted. Then jump into really editing the first book, do a, a really solid editing pass in August, I hope. I want to get that done before September because I'd like to hand it off to a beta reader or two in September. 
when I will not have time to be doing much of anything until my seven week classes and class or classes. I'm not sure if it's going to be one or two this time. It's two this spring. Don't know what next fall is going to look like yet. Um, but at any rate, the first seven weeks of the semester, just, yeah. <clears throat> Hectic. <laughs> so I won't plan on doing any real heavy writing in September. Probably not really much of anything until mid-October, at which point I'll be jumping into prep for November. What I end up doing for November, we'll see. That may end up being the second draft of whatever it takes, which that's just a working title. By the way, I'm sure that will not be the final title. I have a habit that I have developed from fandom and from the specific fandom that I've been writing in of titling things based on songs. So the Imagine Dragons song, Whatever It Takes, was sort of the theme song while I was writing this draft. So that became the, the title. That works okay in fandom. Title isn't the main thing that grabs people usually. It needs to be a little more descriptive because that tells you absolutely nothing about what the book is about. Nothing at all. Really. No. So it'll need another title down the road. But for now, whatever it takes, probably going to end up working on draft two next November, unless it is still being beta read and maybe I have an idea for something new. We'll see. But I do want to do both camps and NaNoWriMo next year and move whatever it takes along the process. Hopefully get at least a second draft done by the end of the year. And then we'll see where it goes from there. One of my goals for December this year was to do Advent Travels, which I, I started off, I, I got 10, I got the first 10 days done. And then I hit my NaNoWriMo hangover. And I have not written a single thing for that since. I did write my two exchange stories because I had signed up for holiday exchanges. They, they're they done. I, I feel like they both could have been better, but they are done. The people who received them seem to be happy with them, so that's good. Um, I do want to get back and finish Advent Travels before the end of the year. Which comes to my total word count for the year, which is currently at 193,000 and something. It would be really cool to hit 200,000. It's December 28th. The odds on that are pretty slim. But we'll see. Trying to compare this year to last year, I'm not having much luck because I don't know what I did with last year's spreadsheet. I've been using the same spreadsheet for years. I can't put my hands on last year's. What I should be doing anyway is keeping the same spreadsheet and just starting new tabs for each year, which is what I'm going to do for 2019. That'll make comparisons from year to year a little easier. So that's reading and writing goals from 2018 and into 2019. YouTube goals. I kept it really vague and wide open and said, how about a video a week? Well, if you include all of the semi-daily vlogs from NaNoWriMo, and add up the entire year together, yes, it, it will ultimately add up to an average out to just about a video a week. That is not the pattern at which things were uploaded, though. So I need to get a little better about that. That's one of my, that's my big, probably, 2019 goal for this channel is get a solid uploading schedule of some kind which probably means a lot of pre-recording. I mentioned that I'm going to be teaching not just one, but two accelerated graduate courses over a seven week period, the first half of spring 2019. If I record a single YouTube video during that time, I will be shocked. Just saying. So, I need to try to get as much as possible done during January. 
So if my overall goal for the year is that I want to have a video a week, anything above that is just bonus. Then to get through the first quarter of 2019, I need to pre-record 12 videos. I need to get on that starting now. What will the content be? Probably more or less the same as what it has been, which is a lot of writing stuff, some reading stuff. I sort of dropped off the bandwagon of giving book reviews. I don't know that there's going to be a whole lot in the way of book reviews, although if I do do any, it will probably be about writing craft videos or whatever author tour books I read. Uh, language learning, well, I haven't done so great in that department. I did finish the ASL1 class. I did learn a bit more Icelandic. I did get some of the Harry Potter books in Icelandic, haven't actually read any of them. So if none of that is happening, there's not a whole lot on language learning that I can say. We'll see. That may reemerge as a thing. And then nursery writing stuff that I want to do more of. I would like to do at least one of those per month. Considering the rate at which I'm getting around to the one that I've been saying I'm going to do for a while now, that might be a bit of a stretch, but it still seems like, it sounds like a completely reasonable goal. Let's just say that. And then the occasional bullet journal video. I don't know that I'll do like a monthly plan with me type thing, but I will probably do some plan with me's that include specifically author to be type stuff. Um, specifically spreads related to NaNoWriMo or related to the flow of revision, that sort of thing. Yeah. So I think that's it. Looking at the um, little counter here on the camera, it's already over 20 minutes. I'm going to need to edit this down because I don't actually want this to be that long. That makes this a good place to stop. If you have put up a video on 2018, 2019 goals, uh, please link me below if I haven't already seen it and commented on it. Um, and if you don't do videos and you just want to share some of your 2018 goals and how they went and what your plans are for 2019, please do. I would love to hear. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.